Bus is getting ready to get tracked up. Test her out, see how it does. It's gonna be, uh, be interesting. Well, that was fun for about mm, three minutes. I'm trying to warm up the engine. It's really, really cold out here right now. Things don't want to start. Semi started, a little bit of help of uh, starting fluid, diesel burner, propane tank, putting the torch and the burners and everything underneath the bus. Haven't tried to start it yet, it might start just fine. However, it's cold last night, so we're gonna run the heat. And then uh, get this stupid thing unloaded, put some tracks on. like two degrees right now. Last night it was it was negative something. It was rough. Grab me the other jump box. Three engines we needed to start the semi. That was a pain. Stupid uh, little engine on the front of the low boy. That was a pain. Finally got it started. The bus is giving us the most problems. We've got a jump box and jump cables, and uh, we'll see how this goes. Come on, you little girl. started but it's, I think it's pretty gelled up all that fuel so we're gonna have to put a uh, heater on the fuel tank and a battery charger We've got a lot to get done right now so trying to keep this road clear so the cars can get by but we just had our other load of stuff show up so we got Cletus and Sandrell on tracks and then we got a uh, America's Most Wanted 4x4 Jeep Gladiator Hellcat on the Hell tracks it is the gnarliest setup you'll ever see like I'm so excited to run that uh, first time running those tracks so let's we'll see how it goes so right now, we gotta get the telehandler over to the bus and the skid loader over to the bus because we're gonna use that to start setting the tracks up. Now we're moving. Bus is getting ready to get tracked up. I'm gonna use the telehandler to lift it. Skid loader position the tracks. I'm probably gonna have to head down to Logan right now to go to Peterson Equipment to pick up the snowcat because we're bringing two new cats up here. By the time I get back, we should be ready to test the bus on tracks. So we're at a slight slant and we got lots of snow. It's gonna be a job today. This machine will be what holds the tracks and moves the tracks into place. The Sani telehandler is lifting the entire bus. Instead of running jacks, we just run the telehandler. Hopefully it goes as smooth as it does at the shop. These guys had practice. They did it at the shop. Now it's just time to do it out in the snow, cold.
So we're at Peterson Equipment, as usual. They are hooking us up with a brand new Piston Bully 400 Park Pro. Park Pro is the most insane machine out there. It's not as big as my Beast, but it's got uh, really high angles, blade angles and tiller angles. It's designed for building like, um, you know, ski parks and snowboard parks. So we're gonna use this to build all sorts of jumps and stuff. And this machine is brand spanking new. Still got plastic on the seats. And then we're grabbing a Piston Bully 100, like the machine we had last year. But this year it's got a passenger cab on it so we can move people around. So we're gonna have two cats because there's gonna be a lot of chaos going on. Uh, Whistling Diesel's gonna be here with Monster Max soon. And something tells me he's gonna get that truck very stuck. So we're gonna need all the pulling power we can get. I'm so excited. Did I mention I'm excited? Cause I'm really excited. No cat number one is loaded. I got so much going through my brain right now. <laughs> I'm sitting here trying to figure out all these logistics. So let's go. Looks like uh, we're all tracked up, so now, moment of truth. We'll test her out, see how it does. It's gonna be, uh, gonna be interesting. Every maiden voyage is always, uh, is always a little bit of a surprise. So we've tested a little bit at the shop, but now's the real test. So I think we're a couple minutes away. Alright, so, busted maiden voyage, I think, went well, went very well. Uh, one thing we're running into is, is overheating. Dave and the guys are going to look in to see why. The tracks were great. They didn't slip off, nothing broke. Check, win, yeah, for sure. Now let's just figure out why this stupid thing's overheating. Well, that was fun for about mm, three minutes. One of our big block fuses, like a... 100 amp fuse or whatever it is that controls all the electric fans is not working. So we just put direct power to it and the fans did turn on. That's a good sign. So what we're gonna do is try to pull that fuse out and see if we can find a replacement or just direct wire it for now. But the tracks work pretty well. We definitely need to tighten them a little bit because they're a little sloppy, but it works. Sun's going down. So I'm not sure if we're gonna go up from that number, but we'll see. Time to let the dogs eat. Dave. Instead of using the ramp on the trailer, I just decided, you know what, I'm gonna build my own ramp. I don't need no stinking trailer that drops, so. Building us a ramp so we can just drive straight off. And then uh, we gotta go rescue a few vehicles we got stuck. So since uh, Iram's still working on the bus, we're gonna try to rig up some wiring and then tomorrow bring the right stuff that we need to fix it like for good. In the meantime, we're gonna unload the sand rail and the uh, Gladiator on tracks and get this trailer emptied up so that we can take it back down tonight and get another load. We got, believe it or not, like five or six more loads. No, probably like eight more loads of stuff to come up still, so it's a lot.
thing works incredibly well, except it throws all the snow right in on the driver, as you can see. That was aggressive. That was, that was rough. And it keeps getting stuck. 